In this video, I'm going to talk about the five different tips you can follow to overcome writer's block. Hi, this is Jesse from startcopywriting.com and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about writer's block, the dreaded writer's block and how you can overcome it. So, Tip number one for overcoming writer's block is to get clear on what you're writing before you actually sit down and start trying to write. A lack of clarity or being confused about what you're actually writing often means ending up with writer's block. So if you're not clear on what you're writing or if you're confused about what you're trying to write, it's not going to be very easy for you. So what I like to do is come up with a bit of an outline or have a really strong clear idea on what I'm writing before I actually sit down and write. Strategy number two is stop being a perfectionist. Too many people are perfectionists when they start writing and what that means is having unrealistic and unachievable standards for yourself that really are going to become too difficult to meet. Often for copywriters what that means is sitting down and expecting everything you write to be amazing, we beat ourselves up over it. So don't do that, stop being a perfectionist and realize that progress with your writing is more important than getting it right the first time. Strategy number three, write without editing. Too many people when they sit down to write, they write a sentence, they read it, they decide it's not very good because they're being a perfectionist and then they delete the whole thing by hitting backspace and backspace. Don't do that. Instead, sit down and write the first draft before you even think about editing. Don't edit while you write and you'll find that you'll write a uh, first draft and you can always come back and rewrite that later. Strategy number four, use a stop timer. You could use an egg timer, you could use uh, a timer on your computer or a timer on your iPhone. Basically, you wanna set that countdown timer to 33 minutes. Then what you wanna do is focus on writing for that 33 minutes until your timer goes off indicating that time's up. So what that allows you to do is just do nothing but write, 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 write for 33 minutes. It gives you a mini deadline to focus on and by doing this, you're really able to get in the zone and avoid distractions. It's a great strategy for getting lots of writing done and writing in those short 33 minute bursts makes you a very productive writer. The final strategy, strategy number five, is to avoid distractions and interruptions while you're writing. Too many times if you're at home and you're doing some writing, you might have family or friends coming in trying to talk to you and they're interrupting your writing. Or you might have distractions like email alerts, uh, your phone, Facebook, the internet, anything like that. All of these things can derail our writing and really pull us out of the flow when we might be writing some great copy. So what you want to do is turn off your phone, uh, turn off the internet, you want to uh, close your door so people don't come in and interrupt you, and really find a quiet place where you can get some writing done. By doing this, you'll find yourself so much more productive with your writing and you'll avo avoid writer's block because you're not getting continually sidetracked and distracted. I hope you've enjoyed my five tips for overcoming writer's block. Uh, if you'd like to watch more videos like this one, I have a whole bunch of them over on my website. So this is Jesse from startcopywriting.com and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, there's a really attractive girl coming. I will be right back. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my five tips for overcoming writing, writing blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then I uh, get distracted by little kids who are standing behind the camera. You're putting me off, dude, sorry. I don't see. This okay. Is, well, I'm not a little kid, so. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best bloopers reel ever.